Witness the origin of Steven Guido's adventures. The first episode of Save the Multiverse is now live. Make sure you hit the link in the description to check out the first installment of our brand new series. Today, we swapped bodies with Siren Head to fight his arch enemy, Lighthead. That's right, Lighthead has returned alongside my arch enemy, Mesa, and the two of them are teaming together. It was a recipe for disaster. So guys, make sure you go ahead and follow my recipe by step one, hitting the like button, and step two, subscribing to the channel to join the adventurers. It's time for the adventure to begin. Lighthead? Listen to me, buddy. You do not have to do this. Mesa has got himself buried deep into that mind of yours. Brainwashing you. Causing you to do things you wouldn't normally do. Don't listen to him, Lighthead. These are all lies. Now, will you just go ahead and kill these people? Don't do it, Lighthead. Oh my goodness, Steve. This is so intense. I know, Guido, Lighthead has finally returned, and already he's been brainwashed by Mesa. You are already powerful enough. Whatever Mesa has promised you, I can promise you much, much, much... Oh my goodness. Guido, I don't think he's listening to me. Lighthead, Lighthead, don't do it. These people have so much to live for. And so, working with Mesa... Lighthead successfully wiped out the entire population of this dimension. And then, he ruled as king. Anyone that didn't agree with his rule was banished to the other side of the dimension. Well, Guido, I've got to say that this has been a pretty terrible time in my life. Not only are we locked into this dimension, which is currently ruled by Lighthead, but we have been spending our time living in this burnt out bus. Not exactly luxury. Well, we have gone ahead and started to make preparations to get out of here, Guido. I have converted this electricity pylon into a, an emergency radio tower. If we can just go ahead and adjust a few more things here, we should be able to get it back online. Let's just go ahead and hammer this thing here. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Oh, Guido, I think we're getting a transmission. Hello? Hello, who is that? This is Margaret. How is it going? Margaret, listen to me. This may be my final communication with anyone, so I need you to focus up. I know you sound like an 80-year-old grandmother. 82, actually. All right, look, 82. Listen, my name's Steve. I'm with my robot, Guido. I need you to go ahead and locate my dimension coordinates and teleport me out of there. You want me to do what? Turn on my television? No, no, Margaret. Teleport. Teleport, okay? Why, yes, I'll have a pizza. Can I have sweet corn on it? Sweet corn? No, oh, Margaret, listen to me. I... Oh, she's gone. Well, Steve, that went well. Ah, <sighs> Come on, Guido. It looks like this radio tower isn't working. Let's just go ahead and get back to the bus and get ready to choose between what we're eating tonight. Will it be maggots or will it be worms? Oh, my goodness me. What the heck was that? Is that... <gasps> Siren Head. Oh, quickly, I'll translate this. He says, meet me tonight? Well, Guido, I guess we've got nothing to lose. The only person that hates Lighthead more than I do is his nemesis, Siren Head. Let's go ahead and meet him up and see exactly what he has to say. Well, Guido, I believe this is the meeting spot. Siren Head should be arriving any second now. Okay, Siren Head, listen to me. We both want the exact same thing. You're jealous of Lighthead's powers, and I'm jealous, or rather concerned, that Lighthead and Mesa are teaming up to destroy everyone in this dimension. The two of us are going to have to work together if we are going to be able to take down Lighthead. I can already tell that you know this is what we must do. So let me go ahead and ask you for a tiny favor. Can I go ahead and borrow your body? I'm gonna take that as a yes.
Ugh, Guido, this is always uncomfortable. Ugh, why is his body so thin? How am I supposed to fit in here? Anyway, we are going to be taking on the body of Siren Head and using it to go ahead and take on Light Head. Unfortunately, oh, yeah, ugh, I remember how awkward this is. Just basic things like driving a car are totally different as Siren Head. Now, apparently, Light Head is treating himself as the king of this dimension. He set himself up back home in the city in some kind of crazy mansion. He's got a bunch of bodyguards and he will stop at nothing than to secure his rule. Oh my goodness, his rule over this entire dimension. Ugh, I'm okay. As much as it looks like I'm not, I'm definitely okay. Okay, let me just climb out of here and where am I? There I am. Okay, looks like we're walking. All right, Guido, there it is, Lighthead's Mansion. And as you can see, it is pretty impressive. It's massive, it's got a bunch of different walls, different rooms, and most importantly, it is guarded 24-7. Bodyguards, attack dogs, that sort of thing. Oh, Steve, this might not be such a good idea. No, Guido. Rule number 174 of the Adventurer's Guidebook, if Lighthead has taken over a dimension, only Siren Head can stop him. All right, Guido, let's go ahead and try break into that mansion here. It's going to be very tough. Uh, wait a second. Look at that all the way over there. Is that a bunch of security guards? And it looks like they're watching our every move. Okay, let's see if we can go ahead and snipe a few of these guys and see exactly what they do. Oh my gosh, they're all just staring at me. I think they're just intimidated by Siren Head. And look at all those attack dogs just patrolling the perimeter. Okay, let's try take this guy down. Oh my gosh, we took like two down at once. Oh, this is awesome. It looks like, it looks like re they really are intimidated by me though. Okay, let's go ahead and blast them with this grenade launcher here and see if they react to that. There we go. Okay. Now that has left the front gate completely open, but we also have to deal with those attack dogs if they approach us. Okay. Oh, I managed to hack through the system and I am in. Oh my gosh, buddy. Look, the attack dogs are here. Okay, we've got to keep moving. My goodness, this place is like a maze or something. These guys are literally chasing right after us. Oh my gosh. They're quite intimidating. Their barks are super scary. Okay, let's go ahead and dive over this wall. Oh my gosh. What the heck just happened there? I have no idea what just happened. I just wanted to jump over that wall and we got flung. Okay, there we go. And yes, nice. We made it far away from those things, but they're coming round. Okay. I really didn't want to have to do this. Uh, in fact, I still don't want to have to do that. Okay, we'll just deal with them. I will not be shooting any dogs today. In fact, we may be able to go ahead and lose them if we run around this corner here. There we go. We managed to get away from them, but now we are just in the center of this random mansion. All right, where is he? Where is Lighthead? Because it's up to me and Siren Head to take this guy down. I can't believe we're finally teaming up. Now, I don't see him right now, but he must have heard all of that ruckus, so he should be around here somewhere. Let's keep moving. Let's see. Now, there is this small area right here, which Lighthead could probably fit through, but I'm not sure if... Oh, yeah, I actually can. I can just phase through it all, apparently. Amazing. Oh, Lighthead, are you around here anywhere? Maybe he's lost interest. Oh my gosh, there he is. Okay, Lighthead, let's do this. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I just missed. Definitely not a great start to this fight, but it doesn't look like he's letting up. I'm trying to elbow him and I'm just phasing straight through him. Okay, let's pull out the guns here then. Let's see exactly what we can do. I'm going to fire a grenade or two directly at the ground. There we go. We've managed to stun him a little bit. Let's pull out our assault rifle. Oh my goodness me, he is right there. Come on, come on. There must be something we can use. The faithful RPG. Let's try this. Oh my gosh, he just goes straight straight through it. Oh my goodness. And now he is using his powers to create some kind of meteor shower at the same time. Oh, that scoundrel. Okay, let's try to take him down here. Come on. Dude, he is so hard to hit. And I don't think he's even realized that by calling in this meteor shower, he may have just doomed his entire mansion. Oh my gosh, my back. Oh no, dude, he's getting really close. And again, I can't seem to hit him. He's not letting up. Okay, let's keep moving. Let's see if I can use my assault rifle once again to try blast this guy. There we go. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to aim. And oh, we've knocked him over. That's great. Have we taken him down though? No, he's back up. Okay, something with a little bit more power once again. Oh my gosh, these meteors are getting mighty close here. Let's try and blast him. There we go. Oh my gosh, I think he just got... Oh, he just got flattened by a meteor as well. And look at that. 
We actually did it. We took down Lighthead. The meteor shower has finally cleared up and now we are left with his toasted body. Now then, Guido, we have this entire mansion all to ourselves. Maybe we should go ahead and give Siren Head's body back? Well, Guido, right now I'm richer than I've ever been in my entire life. Maybe being in Siren Head's body is actually a good thing. I think I'll keep it.